build a full adventure map of Valheim. So I actually like, I really wish that this was more of a thing. I think Valheim, they had such a massive potential and I wish that we had more stuff like this. It's something that's never been done before. What's this? For the last year, I've dreamt of building the ultimate Valheim world. A world that has enough things in it to feel like an open world RPG game. Yeah. So eventually, there's going to be- There were some people, whenever this game came out, they tried to do this. An entire town right here at Worldspawn. Okay, so this is off the edge of the world. This is yeah. where I want to eventually have, well, everything. A city? Okay. Five main towns, 37 unique locations. Oh my god. Boss arenas. What the now, from fuck the beginning, is this? I knew that a world like this would be borderline impossible to complete alone. Well, I feel like it would be impossible because of how laggy the game is. I think that if you if you fix the lag problem and like everything like that, then yeah, sure you could do this. Game isn't laggy. Uh okay, well you should play it more and then you you'd understand what I'm talking about. So I looked into my long list of associates that could actually help me with this. Yeah. And uh yeah. All jokes aside, I had a friend who goes by Dakar, who just so happens to be a bit of a legend among Valheim builders. Wait, what? Oh my god, this is insane! What the fuck? This is in- Oh my god! At the end of the video, I'll talk about how you can play this world yourself. Sure. Modded, unmodded, and in a couple of different ways. Okay. But let's get into the story of sure. how we built this and why we waited so long to get started. On November 5th at 11.23 a.m., I got a message asking me if I wanted to be a builder on a Valheim mm -hmm. RPG experience built for a large 1 million follower streamer. Fast forward to wow. the next day, and I was on a phone call with one of the top mod developers involved in the project. Mm -hmm. On this call, I found out that there was an entire team of modders already working to make a full-on RPG experience with- Holy fucking shit! This is amazing! Unique loot, 12 different unique player classes, and even quests that could be received from NPCs and then completed. all coming together in one ultimate mod pack. If you've played Valheim at all, you know that this is very impressive. This is now incredible. Pause. Remember what I said earlier about how we've been planning this? I've dreamt already off and on for over- Like the extent of Valheim modding that I was aware of is Silvervale modded her character into Valheim, her VTuber avatar. And I was like, what the fuck? Like that's, that. this is insane. For a year? Well, at this point, now that I know this thing is for real, I think you know my answer. Yes. By the way, the mysterious streamer I mentioned, I found out that this is Gathalian, a variety gaming okay. streamer that does in fact have 1 million followers, but more importantly, that also has a whole community mm -hmm. of people playing Valheim and talking every day on his Discord server. Wow. So as for the reason why we waited until now, well, it was a lot of work. Yeah, so he, he did a lot of Destiny to... 2 stuff. Uh, he played that once human game a lot too. So Extra yeah, this motivation. is crazy. And this situation was perfect. Dakar and I finally getting to build what we wanted, and for a guy that would make sure that the most people possible got to enjoy it. Uh -huh. So after a year of planning, it was finally time to start building. Wait, after a one... Are you kidding me? One year later. Well, no, actually, it started off with more planning, for two weeks to be exact. Bruh. Ooh. The mod team and Gathalian had to decide how the world mechanics would work. Yeah. It went kind of like this. First, we found out that they wanted more hardcore travel, which meant only five portals would be allowed in five main towns. Which, then, by the way, that is 100% the right call. Like, 
I've played, so you guys, uh, I, I guess people might not really know this because I'm, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't really played a lot on stream. I have 300 hours in Valheim. I beat and completed the entire game two and a half times over. I cleared the Mistlands, I cleared the game on release, and I did the first, my entire playthrough of the game, I did it completely off stream. I played the entire game, I did everything. 300 hours? Yes. And so, like, I, I'm a, a huge fan of this game. I love this game. In town. Yeah, I was then on break. We heard I played how it a lot. important the 12 player classes in the Legends mod would be. So we decided to theme 12 more areas to those classes. Then finally, there was a decision made on amped up raid like boss fights that take entire. Hold up raiding parties to beat so boss arenas would also have to be built and then if dude i'm so worried about this because like as somebody do you remember the uh the valheim tournament that i did we did a valheim like pvp like a uh, battle royale tournament and whenever we did we had huge problems with lag like whenever there was more than like four or five people in a zone it totally lagged out so i don't how are they going to be able to do this of course, this is an open world, so we needed to have a bunch of locations in between everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's 37 builds in total, all connected by roads and bridges. This is... That is fucking insane. This is definitely a when the uneasiness of how much work it was really set in. But not even nervous butterflies could hide the fact that it was now two weeks since I received that first message. All I wanted to do was start some real planning. This is where I want to eventually mm -hmm. have... And now finally, it was time to place down the first blueprint. Oh, wow. You see, the first... This looks amazing. Thing I did was blueprint all of my builds and then bring them in. Oh, that's one. smart. So he builds them off somewhere else and then he puts them in the, that's so smart. By one. The next task was to go through and break apart these builds, creating yeah, an almost ominous build graveyard with yeah. endless nothingness, except broken down builds as far as the eye could see. Mm -hmm. But as more builds were taken apart, new useful areas were created. We suddenly had bridges, lamp yeah. posts, pagodas, entrances, this is incredible. and all sorts of wow. things that could be quickly grabbed or modified or used for inspiration. The Mistlands Obsidian and finally, ship. a few days after placing down all of the blueprints, yeah. I could actually start building. Mm -hmm. I started by taking my Viking Outpost build and breaking it apart. I loved the theme of this build, and I knew I could play off of that to create Yeah, this is so cool. Look at the quality on this. Oh my fucking god, this is incredible that to create a themed village. I took the build yeah. and chopped off the front, cleaned it up and created a medium-sized version. Dude, I, I made... wonder how many hours this took him to do. The oh, look at the spiral staircase in the back. Dude, that's amazing. I made the smallest version, which got some uh -huh. new features on the side. Then I moved on to the Viking Tavern build. Right. Here, I had a bit more trouble separating the complex shapes that made mm -hmm. up the build. After a while, I was successful, and once again, I created three versions. Large, medium, and small for a... Th this is... Oh, this is so cool, man. This is so fucking cool. themed village. This is so cool. I small? Did the same it's thing probably with inside. He means the inside house. of it. Then I modified. Wait, this is the. Wait, these are start. Dude, I just want to look at these. Oh my god, look at that. These are incredible. Find an old portal building. Wow. Then some builds that had been used in the background of a uh -huh. video. Oof. Uh. Holy fucking shit. Up until this point, I guess the highlight of the story has been finally getting to work out on the edge of the world with builds and while that was a great milestone yeah. after waiting a year to get to this point it was actually nothing compared to what started exactly three weeks after i received that first message okay uh oh wait what happened oh uh, on the 25th of november i started working on the five main so stuff. this has been in this has been in progress for an entire year finally 
forests which actually cover all of the biomes in the game. I'll be working on the meadows, the plains, right. and the black forest mountain town. Dakar will be working on the swamp, and the fifth is a bit of a surprise, but obviously it's the Mistlands. I hope that they, uh, this is going to sound really stupid, but I hope that there's ways that you can clear the mist in the Mistlands. Because I've seen, like, videos of the Mistlands without the mist, and it looks way better. I don't like the Mistlands. I think it's the worst zone in the game. Now, my three towns are laid out with some similarities that, in my opinion, make a town feel real. The first similarity would be placing each town's largest build on the highest ground. Makes sense. The second similarity would be choosing a themed set of buildings for each okay. town. So, remember those buildings that I made different versions of? Yeah. For the meadows, I chose the Viking Tavern. I placed the I think this makes sense, right? Because it's like the most themed. Just of the three variations at the top oh. of the artificially added high ground. And I even did it across the river from the boss. That looks great stones so that I could add a fancy bridge, which is the same thing I did with the uh -huh. medium sized build, except down a little lower. This looks so nice. Then I placed the smaller size build right next to the stone. Holy shit. For the planes, I brought in the build that was previously used in the background of a video. Uh -huh. Once again, I used the largest at the top of the hill, and then I placed the other two sizes scattered along the ridge with also some smaller houses too. For the Black Forest Mountain Town, I brought in the Viking Tavern build and I played- Jesus, that looks like, that looks like it's supposed to be there, man. Like, cause with a lot of these builds, like they don't really fit in very well with the environment. I feel like, yeah, these are just supposed to be there. It's the largest version at the top and then the two smaller down lower with more mm -hmm. extra houses. The next similarity in each town was something to tie it into the biome or the setting yeah, yeah. that it was in. I started with the meadows again, which is the only town built next to the boss stones. Yeah. So I brought in my modified portal building and placed it around the boss stones for a secure place to put boss trophies onto the altars. Oh, for the second okay. town, I was in the plains. So of course I went and got- Yeah, Yagle. the plains are my, I think the plains are my favorite zone with fingers from the boss altar, making it seem like the town was almost being held up by Yaglith himself. And I that is very fucking cool. Yaglith is the boss in this area. At the bottom of the ridge to overlook the surrounding lower plains. For the third town, we had an especially unique uh -huh. setting. A small black forest placed in the center of a mountain biome that completely uh -huh. surrounded it with mountains. You know how games have areas where you can't get into locations except for maybe one path in? I started off yeah. by surrounding the mountain range with large rocks, mm -hmm. leaving a main opening for a front entrance. Oh wow. Then you pass through the entrance into a cold winter mm -hmm. wonderland passing through castle structures fuck? and passing by a firelit pagoda out in the woods. Then heading down to the town, you find traces of winter everywhere with a large bonfire. Hey, keep in mind, guys, uh, whenever the large AAA development studios say that they didn't have time to fix everything, keep in mind that this was all done by fans of a video game in a year for free. Just keep that in mind, okay? Like, just keep this. Yeah, yeah, just guys, keep it in mind in the middle metaphorically fighting back the cold winter that surrounds every the time you fight the blood bishop and diablo ford keep this in mind the final similarity in the towns is what really <laughs> makes each town feel alive each town got roads connecting everything uh -huh. each town got unique lamp posts they also got some nature elements oh that fit the God. setting they got some unique water wells for right. getting water and some even got boat houses or docks and when it comes to building in games, there are always some final details to mm -hmm. wrap it all up. The meadows got a few beehives, yeah, the plains sure. got Looks pagodas nice. or kind that of- That is amazing. Like the spiral staircases, like maybe I'm just like a, uh, an uncultured swine, but I think this is just, this is just so cool. Of and the chains, by the way, I never have seen these chains in the game. Are the chains in the game? I don't think that they are, are they? Not for building, yeah, I don't think so. They're custom made, that's what I thought. Hanging from chains from the fingers of Yaglith. Oh yeah, you can tell, you can tell that they're custom made. Wait, oh my, so they have the little houses that are built from the... No, 
This is this is too good, man. This is too good. First mountain town got nice features to walk under on the path uh -huh. and a bridge going across the center ravine. This meant that the first three towns were done, and I've got to be honest. Eventually, there's going to be an entire town right here at World Spawn. It really made the whole adventure map feel real Holy for the first time. Yeah, the amount of bloat, red tape, and rework in every corporate environment that I've been in is insane. The future really is modders and AI. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Look at this. Now, Dakar had the Swamp Town, so you'll yeah. have to check out his video coming soon on how he did that. And the Mistlands was our favorite idea uh -huh. that we saved to do together at the end. So I'm going to be really curious to see what they do with the Mistlands, because as I said, I think the Mistlands is a perfect combination of every single thing that Valheim is bad at, and it accentuates every bad thing about the game. So, like, I think that these guys kind of get the vibe of the game, and I wonder if they're going to be able to make it better. I started working on the 12 class themed locations. What? Where what, whoa, wait, what are the classes? I started working. Berserker, Druid, Duelist, Enchanter, Mage, Metavoker, uh, Monk, Priest, Ranger, Rogue, Shaman, and Valkyrie. Okay, sounds about right on the 12 class themed locations where you'll be adventuring into the wilderness now for these locations i really don't want to spoil anything but for the priest you'll be able to worship the norse gods in a giant temple where you have to avoid falling into the pool of an ancient oh i got this i got the fucking snakes the serpent for the ranger, you'll be adventuring up into the trees while fighting an enemy horde that's uh -huh. taken over the ranger outpost. To what the fuck? Oh my fucking god. This is a whole ass game. This is a whole ass game. Tell me about Diablo 4 again. You have to understand that the new expansion is going to be $100. I am just... Uh. ...over the Ranger Outpost to eventually get to the treasure room. And there's even an optional high-level loot room. Oh my... For the druid, you arrive at a modest boathouse on the edge of a mysterious forest. Oh my god. And they're even using these things from the mist line. Oh my, this is just... Bro, this is too much, man. This should be illegal. You shouldn't be able to do this. I... Where you venture inside to try to clear out the druid's hidden nature sanctuary. For the Valkyrie? No fucking way! Holy shit! Look at this! Oh my god! You'll take a journey up high into the clouds, into a castle, to try to find your way through to the end to discover a hidden treasure. Once again, with an optional high-level loot room. Wow! For the Shaman, you'll be placed into the darkest setting so far, being forced- it's, oh, it's in the fucking into the, the swamp, swamp, yeah. Where you'll be battling enemies and following a treacherous path to hopefully prevail and reach the final loot room. This is incredible. So you can see that just like the main towns, each class-themed location has its own unique theme, like wow. a magical forest, a floating castle, or a scary just, swamp. Yeah. While also just like the towns sharing some similarities in how they're set up. Uh -huh. For example, a lot of them have areas that have to be cleared of enemies. A lot of them have loot rooms at the oh, end. Oh, wait, hold up. The areas that have to be cleared. So are these, like, things that you have to... You can't leave until you clear everything in the room? I wonder if that works properly. ...of enemies. A lot of them have loot rooms at the end. 
And like I mentioned earlier with the Black Forest Mountain Town, a lot of them have limited ways to enter and exit. Yeah. Overall, so many ideas went into making every location function. Yeah, I can Something see that. Something that was only a dream a few weeks before. This is had disgusting. Suddenly become a reality. This is in, this is amazing. This is amazing. I've never like, uh, dude. I really like this one. This just looks so fucking good. Oh my god. So four weeks after the first message, it was time to send over the world to Dakar where he could bring in everything that he had been working on. But if you want to get more details on his process, you'll have to go check out his video coming soon. A few days later. Now yeah. to finish up the whole project, we had four things left to do. So first of all, I spent a few days grinding out making some mm -hmm. roads and bridges to connect everything in the world. Yeah, that's really fucking cool. Because, like, if you if you play Valheim normally, there are almost no, like, actual structures made. And the structures that are made are extremely small, and they're, like, very, very limited. They provide no real functional value. Then the second thing we decided bridge. to do was the boss raid arenas, which oh I my think came God. out pretty cool. Here's a sneak peek. Okay, that's Ekthir. Wait a second, oh, wait, wait, wait. That, so there's Ekthir. Oh, is that Yaglas? Wait, oh shit, this is a pathway. And then you go in to fight, oh my fucking god. There's a, yeah, there's just the biomass, I think it's just called. Whatever the fuck it is. Motor. Then the third thing we Whoa, did hold was. Up. Oh my god. So it's gonna make the dragon spawn right there. They popped off? Yeah. Then the third thing we did was make 13 locations around the map to uh -huh. fill in the gaps. Yeah. These are kind of like Easter eggs, so I definitely want people to discover them for the first time naturally, but here's another sneak peek. Yeah, this looks amazing. The like wizard tower, like an Elden Ring, destroyed ships. And wait, finally, wait, hold we... up. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. And finally, we've reached the end of the project, which meant it was time to build the fifth main town that we saved for last. Uh -huh. It's in the Mistlands, and we decided to use the islands along the coast for a build theme based on pirates. Oh, wow. In the build graveyard, we started off by building up some concepts of Holy ships shit. and even some concepts of ship houses. Wow. We came up with Jolly Roger flags, shipbuilding workshops, and this is... other miscellaneous things. And now, it was time to put it all together into the last town. Oh. Bro, it's like Booty Bay! This is incredible! Oh my god! Alright, let's talk about how you can play on this map, oh. but first, I wanted to remind you that there are a lot of things I didn't show in this video. First of all, Dakar's builds will be in his video coming soon, and the rest are saved for you to see when you play on the world. But for a final few amazing. examples, if you know Skyrim and the uh -huh. Thieves Guild, then you'll have a good idea where to look to find something special. And there may even be a famous movie location that I might have teased somewhere in this video. Comment below if you figure it out, and I'll confirm if you got it right. Uh, now, teased. I'm not sure. Moving forward, the world's first Valheim adventure map is complete. Well, kind of. We still have some work to do, but here's some information on how you will be able to play okay, on the world in a few different ways. The map will be playable in two forms. First, the open world RPG modded experience on Gathalian's server, 
and another form where Dakar and I will be converting it to a linear curated Valheim playthrough. That wow! So like you can actually play through it yourself as an actual game. It is free and has no mods so that everyone can play. The art. Wow, look at that, guys. You mean it's not $100 DLC? What the fuck? Well, what do I do with all my money? One can play. The RPG experience will be live on Gathalian's server in a few months when they finish the mod pack. Oh you can my already God. become a Twitch subscriber of Gathalian and hop on there I and think try I might out play this. just the early version of the mod pack, which they are updating and tweaking all the time. Yeah, I'll but probably wait for them to no finish it before I play it. And then, if you're interested in the free and unmodded linear version, Dakar and I will be working for the next few weeks to convert the open world to a linear one. This will be a curated Valheim playthrough, where you gather supplies at the class-themed yeah. locations, and all of the locations in between, and you then use that supplies to make your next set of gear at each main town. So then, you can go and fight the next boss. This will be out in wow. January. And if you just can't wait to play the world, you can become an ultimate channel member of my YouTube channel, oh and you can play on God. the world today and explore the locations before we add all of the enemies and the linear elements. Also, don't forget about the helpful hint in the free treehouse build that I mentioned in the treehouse video, where you can get some help for the beginning of the linear version playthrough, and you can also go ahead and check out one of the builds in the adventure map. This so is just disgusting. Like, I'm sorry, like, I- I just don't even know what to say with how good this is. A hundred dollars versus three dollars. So, go check it out if you want. Yeah. Wow. Making this video and this map has been a long time coming. I am really happy to have the first version done and two final versions coming soon. Speaking of, I'll be uploading a short video trailer when the linear map is out, and follow Gathalian for updates on the RPG version. Thank you again, and take care. Oh my fucking god. This is incredible! For the first like, look at this! This is amazing! Up. Look at this, this is... Oh my god! Where can I purchase the level boost? Yeah, sure. I wonder how many hours it took? I have no idea. Here, I'll link you guys the video and, and yeah, give them a sub, give them a like. This is incredible. I can't even believe this. True passion, my driven work, yeah. It took less than two months, not a year. That is fucking insane. Valheim's currently $12. This is the passion and dedication that's missing in the industry. I, I I don't even know what to say. Like, just so much. Like, this is just such a like. This is amazing, man. I I, I am just. I'm speechless almost. Like, I really am. Like, this is. Fandoms can make a game so good. Yeah, I can't wait to jump back into this game. Yeah, I'll play this mod. I want to play on the MMO server, though. Uh, I don't want to play on, like, a solo server. Like, I, my concern, if I had any question of them, is, like, how many people can you realistically have on the server? That's awesome. True Passion creates amazing things. Yeah, this is uh, unbelievable. Are there, like, NPCs with quests and new bosses? Yes! They're adding in new quests! It's right here, yeah. They showed it in the video. It was at the beginning, though. Look at that. So you interact with them there. What type of quests are you interested in? Another streamer had 15 people on the server. Yeah, I just wonder how many they can have, right? Last, uh, I watched uh, Grathalian. They had performance issues. See, like, that's my concern, is, like, how many people can you realistically have? Is it, like, you know, 50, 100, like, 15... Valheim alone without any NPCs besides the vendor and crows is kind of lonely feeling. Well, I think that every game, like, I, I really like the way Valheim is, and so I'm okay with that. But this is, this is astonishing. Like, I, I can't believe this. This is so cool, man. I am amazed. Like, go support them. I'm, I probably should, man. Like, this is amazing. 
here i'll link you guys the video again make sure to give it a like give this guy a sub like i want to see the rest of this content this is so cool as i said like i played this game so much and like i i would probably go back and play this again like i've never really been one into playing mods or anything like that uh but i i think that i would this is so cool